All right, number nine, Father's Day is coming up. Uh, why wait? Get your dad this giant hanging sloth lounger. Your lazy dad can even be lazier now and nap on this sloth all day long. You can hang it from a tree oh, or from yeah. the ceiling. It holds dads of all sizes up to 250 pounds. Plus it's 29 bucks on sale from the old DCDtrends.com. It's just something you just clicked on, but man, every dad is dying for one of those. Right? I can see one of those in the front lawn, your <laughs> estate up there. That's awesome. Wow. Number eight, you want to be happier? Just say the word. Literally, just say the word. Some mood scientists say yeah. certain vowel sounds affect our emotional positivity or negativity. Words with the E sound yeah. huh. can help us feel optimistic, and words oh, with yeah. the O or O sounds increase negative thoughts. Ooh. It's called the mind-mouth connection, and it's pretty simple. Words like happy, glee, pretty, force our mouth muscles to smile, and that's why photographers tell people to say cheese for pictures. Really? Words like lonely or no force the face to frown. Oh. Of course, a little more complicated than that. You can read more about it in psychology today, but who's got the time, yeah. really? I gave or you the, the nuts and bolts there. Yeah, yeah you yeah. get the idea. All right. All right, number seven, do you think your pet is pampered? Have you seen Salma Hayek's pet owl? He's wow. a rescue owl named Kiering, and she is obsessed with him. Huh. Salma bought him as a Valentine's Day gift for her husband, but mainly kept him as her own pet. Well, isn't that just typical? When her husband's out of town, Salma lets Kiering sleep in her bedroom. Oh boy. She reads from her iPad while the owl perches on top of it. And when they're done reading, they'll share a glass of wine. Yeah. Ke <laughs> Kiering only likes expensive wines, which makes sense <laughs> since his mom is Salma Hayek. Right. Owls don't drink liquids. So we're not sure how that works out anyway. We'll have to take Salma Hayek's word for it. Salma Hayek. Now, will the owl scratch your eyes clean out while you're sitting there? I mean, what's... Well, what's... If, if they... I'm sorry. Dean's setting it's the cooking. kitchen on fire over there. <laughs> Everything all right over there, hey, Dean? He, 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 here. Well, look at him. Tunnel vision, this guy. He didn't even know we are talking about him. He didn't even hear that. I'm just... Uh, I'm worried about the owl just flying around the house and those Well, they claws, can be they... trained. Yeah, but, you know, owl gets a couple of glasses of red right. wine in it. There's yeah. no telling what Don't it might Don't turn your back, Adam. Yeah. I'll tell you that. But... <laughs> All right, number six, there's a company in England that custom makes corsets. Whether you want to look like Rose Ooh. from the Titanic or Lady Bridgerton, you'll find every kind of corset for all shapes and sizes. All They're right. $400 and take about 10 weeks to make. But if you're into period costumes yeah. and you feel like spending hours sucking it in until you nearly pass out, then this is the place for you. I've got my name all over it. It's called redthreaded.com. Oh, wow. wow. Larry, you've been advocating for corsets to make a comeback for years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to be deceived either. Right. So right. It's, oh, a, right. it's a tough yeah. call. Letting the cat that. out of right. the bag is kind of a. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting question. Yeah. yeah. Ten weeks, though, is the turnaround time on one of those. You could, you know, tighten things up a little bit before you get it on. Then right, You're in right. better shape for it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that guy who married that woman who was beautiful. And then they had these kids that were just horrific looking, and yeah. they realized that the woman had uh, yeah, a, friend, a, a lot of plastic friend. surgery. Oh. And so the guy did that on really, Backstory? I missed no, that No, this one. was a story we did on it's the like 9 and 9 like He found oh. the lawsuit ago. against yeah. her or I think something. He yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. You want to know what's in the package when you're, before you buy it. Yeah. God, you are just a fountain of wisdom. <laughs> yeah. right. I, some days I, I wonder, how, right. why do we look to him for guidance? And, yeah. and this is exactly why. Larry's one of the best what... shoppers out there also. <laughs> he is You're one. looking for a good shopper, ladies. Blah, blah, you should blah, hire blah. this guy. He is a and moral beacon. And the only beacon. sad thing is that he's taken, ladies. That is yeah. the yeah. I mean, yeah. Really. Well, ladies, I'm upset he's taken. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> yeah. Good Lord. <laughs> number, <laughs> number five, there's not a man on this planet no, 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 right no, now no, no, sexier than Stanley Tucci, according to whoever wrote this. Yeah. Bald, bold, beautiful, from his tapered slacks to chic scarves, he makes it look effortless. His style makes you want to fill your wardrobe with a fitted beige slack, 
a light pullover <laughs> sweater, a simple polo shirt. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Doesn't hurt that he's walking go. down the streets of the sexiest country in the world, Italy, but even when he's at home in his New York penthouse, mixing a cocktail for millions of people on Instagram, he is straight out of Mad Men. He is sophisticated, yet suave. Wow. Did you write that yourself? <laughs> no, but it captured every feeling I have about your sentiment. Tucci. It's almost like I wrote it myself. It is almost like that. All right, number four. We all know that uh, sitting down for too long is bad for you. But there are even worse ways to sit that are worse for you than what you think. According to Men's Health, sitting in front of a TV screen or a computer is typically associated with the worst health problems. Not only that, it makes people feel even worse about themselves. Experts recommend following time on the couch with a long walk to balance it all out for a little bit. Mm. I don't feel bad about myself when I sit on the couch and watch TV. I think I actually accomplished something. Yeah. I got through three, yeah. four episodes of a show. Yeah. I, I, Accomplish something for the day. Yeah. What's yeah. wrong with that? No, that's why I would say. Play to your strengths. You, you yeah. shouldn't change a thing. Yeah. Everything you're doing is perfect. <laughs> yeah. They're just words I was reading. I didn't really yeah, mean I've anything said, I said. Uh huh. And number three, if you're looking to relocate, this place in New Orleans might be for you. The Crescent City Cat Club is a local nonprofit and pet adoption center, but it's also a family home. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms, located near the French Quarter. It's on the market for $555,000. The current owner wants someone who will continue to care for the cats. How many? And carry on the center's mission oh. to house cats and find them their forever homes. All rooms are equipped with both cat and people furniture. It's got your name all over it, Larry. Oh, yeah. That is a nightmare. All right, number two, nothing says delicious like breakfast in a can, even better when it's English breakfast in a can. A company called Hunger Breaks sells several versions, the all-day breakfast or the full Monty. It's a pre-mixed combination of baked beans, mm. sausages, button mushrooms, chopped pork, bacon, cereal, and something called egg nuggets. Imagine the look of delight on your children's faces when you crack open one of these cans and you fill their plates with all that delicious... Whoa, what is that? I... Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> you can find it on Amazon for just under $7 a can. That looks like a surgery gone yeah, wrong. Yeah, nuggets and a like. sausage, it looks like. Or some kind of hey, awkward close-up from our chat little... roulette segment. Yeah, yeah, let's see that again. <laughs> yeah. Bean meals. Huh. Oh, oh, there hello. it is. There it is. Ooh. Hey, homie, I can see your doodle. All right, number one. What if the Simpsons were British? British comedian Alice Dare Beckett King reimagined an iconic scene from the British point of view. Ah, Bartholomew, out for another day of whimsical japes. Do not have a cow, father. No, we no longer have a cow, but we still have our pride. Do we, father? <laughs> Homer, the ween's got the head of yon statue of Winston Churchill. Why, you diminutive? <laughs> well, Marjorie, the boy is dead. <laughs> Eat your flag. The Simpsons. <laughs> ah, about the one. That is pretty good. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's, that's all we have. We've run out of numbers.